Is his girlfriend cheating on him while at work? Listen, man. Bro. This is every man's greatest nightmare. We gonna lock in, bring some fears to life. Hopefully I don't get traumatized from this video, man. Let's go. <laughs> girlfriend called me and showed me messages of them talking back and forth, like kind of flirting and stuff. <laughs> nah, man, this man, he, he hanging by a thread. That spine's so weak. A little breeze blowing his whole, whole damn torso splitting too, man. Hey, this dude, this dude, like, this so dude thrives on people's there. miseries, <laughs> man. <laughs> we'll just call her Emily. Are you prepared for the possibility that she might fail this test? I'm prepared for it just because of what's happened and stuff. So oh, no, man. She already got a track record, bro. Oh, he's healing, man. I could tell. Bro's healing from some experiences. If it were me in the perfect world, I'd just leave, man. I don't even let it get to this point, my nigga. I'm out of there. I key. I don't waste no time, man. You out of my life. Our decoy Jarrett will be testing Emily's loyalty by hitting on her and asking her on a date. Will she remain loyal or will she entertain Jarrett's advances? She tells me she wants to be with me and stuff, but like some of the stuff she does, like doesn't like really like mad. These gotta be paid actors, man. It gotta be. Our plan was to divide this loyalty test into three phases. Phase one would begin at Emily's job across the street. We're here with Eric. He's left his car behind. No. And we're gonna start our reconnaissance. Thanks to Eric, we knew that Emily was working. But to make sure that she wasn't on the break or anything, we sent in Leslie to do some reconnaissance. Our plan was. Where does she work? The grocery store? store? Pretend to be a customer and then get her number. He works. Is he gonna try to wheel on the job though? Like, is she like right in the middle of everybody? I've never thought to shoot my shot on a. Grocery store. But it doesn't really get too full because it's not that big of a store, not too many here. Now, the reason Eric wanted to pull this test specifically at Emily's job was because he's caught her doing some questionable things with her co workers. Oh, shit. her, like, talking to other guys. My friend that actually is working right now, he saw, for one guy, he saw that she, he kissed her on the cheek, I think, and, like, she was cool with it and stuff. While she was working? Yeah. Some random dude? No, or, like, no, no, a co worker. Oh, a co worker. Mm. And then the she gonna say he gay. His girlfriend, uh, his girlfriend called me and then showed me messages of them talking back and forth, like kind of flirting and stuff. And then apparently at work they also like kissed and stuff. And, like, Bruh, oh nah, oh nah, bro, nah, you doing too much extracurricular work with this video, man. I would have been MIA, gone, no final message, nothing, man. Bye, deleted, into the void, banished from this realm. God damn it. You'll never see me again. Silent exit. Irish exit, man. What? The proof is in the pudding? Man, once you see it, it's time to Alt F4, damn control delete. Yo. Like, yeah. Oh, he oh, loved man. this. He's like, damn, this is content. One of your girlfriend's co-worker's girlfriend hit you up yeah. telling you, yo, this is what's happening. Yeah, because she's the one that saw the messages between them. I didn't know because obviously like, she hides them and stuff. Like, oh, I, wow. never, I never, like, I guess... I never really checked through her phone until then. And when you caught bro, her, like, doing this, what happened? Like, did you confront her? Let me tell you, man. Talk about it and stuff? There'd be and some like, shit in those know, phones. Like, she, the way she would talk about it, it seemed like she kind of didn't care. No or when I came into the store to, like, kind of confront the guy, too, is like, she was just like, I guess she didn't, like, really care if, like, I would stay with her. Or... And other than that time, have you caught her? So why are you doing anything this? With anything else and stuff? Or? I mean, I've, like, before, like, once when the relationship was barely new, she, like, she would message uh, on Instagram and stuff, but, like, never, like, link up with nobody. It was just pure messages and stuff. But, I mean, yeah. it's kind of hurt, too, because uh, I understand her, like, I guess her side, because... Her past boyfriend kind of like cheated on her and stuff. So what? I, mean, I guess you could say there's trauma there too. So how long have you guys been dating him? Or now it's gonna be a little bit more than a year. So like you really like this girl, you really want to be with this girl. Mm, I honestly do. It's just that. I nah, bro. Nah, bro. We need a surgery on your damn spine because it ain't working. This man got gelatin for a spine. Nah, man. I don't give a shit. You already seen the proof written in fine print, and you still want to make it work? Yo! What in toxicity am I listening to? Nah, man, this man, he he hanging by a thread. That spine's so weak. A little breeze blowing his whole, whole damn torso splitting too, man. I just want her to tell me stuff, like be open about her emotions and stuff, and like, about just everything. I want nothing hidden between us, that's the thing. And then, Bro, you don't, don't want this truth. You don't want this truth, because she busting nuts. Oh, so you guys used to work there together? Yeah, for a good while, but then I ended up leaving. 
Got it. Uh, okay. Is that how you met her? Like, yeah, working there? Uh, okay. Sounds like a trend. I really liked and wanted to be with this girl is because there are way too many red flags in this relationship. I mean, in this girl. She is kissing people, talking to people, deleting messages. It's too much. That's a lot. Personally, I would have ended things a long time Word. ago. Word. The fact that this man has put up with this for a year, though, is crazy. How do you, do you think she's going to pass or do you think she's going to She going to fail this like bitch. Things have been going a little good for a bit right now, so hopefully she does. Okay. I, th I think she might pass, but if she does it. Is that her? It's like, it's not like she hasn't hurt me already, so. I feel like if she never would have got caught or whatever, they would have told me, I don't know what could have led up to. That right there. That's the real life shit that every nigga should worry about, man. If people don't get caught, there are some things you probably will never know, man. There are some things you wouldn't believe that you probably will never know. And the reason I say I could say that from some subtle experience, man, I don't even know. And I know there's stuff to know. That's how. Wait a minute. You just don't know what might have happened. I guess. Yeah. Stuff, like, He's trying to get closure. Kind of like he like needs to like physically see it, like it to move on. That's what I'm gathering here. He wants the closure. It ain't cool to lead someone on and then tell them you really want to be with them when you don't know. Did you see her, Leslie? I think I did. Oh, that's the the uh the spy. Oh uh, no. Oh uh, no. My heart feels for this man. I love your priorities, man. Hey. Which right now knowing where Emily was and what she looked like, he was not free to enter the store. I'm like my heart's beating for this man. Was officially in full swing. Alrighty, dude. So how confident are you that she's gonna pass the test? I mean, as long as she just says she has a boyfriend and then okay. Nigga, she gonna fail, man. I already know she gonna fail. You don't have to tell me twice. A solid angle, but not following too close as to get caught. After pretending to shop around for a bit, Jarrett eventually makes his way to the dairy section of the store. I can't imagine that you guys still there. <laughs> oh shit. Is that her? The guy who was talking to Emily was no longer there, but neither was Emily. There was absolutely no sign of her. It was crickets. The worst case scenario was happening. My best guess was she was either in the bathroom taking a leak, in the back grabbing she or worse, on a break. Thankfully, after waiting for some time, though, she eventually returned. Excuse me. Hey, can I get your advice on something, please? Oh, no. I'm getting nervous. Uh All right, so I'm trying to cook like this big ass meal. What's the best thing over here? What would you get? Like peaks or anything? Anything. Kind of a weak entrance. What's your favorite? What, you, what would you go for? You cook? A little bit. Okay, so if you was cooking, what would you have? Damn, it kind of sounds like she's like not giving him any conversation. Yeah, it's a weak entrance. Say whatever. Okay, good. So, I mean, that's how she usually is. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. I know you ain't going through the make ready to make fried rice. No, I said, like, I'm trying to go like all out. Like pasta, pasta, bread. Okay. Chicken. Now he's cooking. It might just be me, but I don't really feel like Emily's giving Jared too much conversation. Yeah, she's. It could have been due to stress, annoyance, or concentration in her job. Yeah. Or, like Eric said, maybe she's just like that. A very quiet person. This it? Okay. I'm trying to go all out. Oh, okay. Hold on. Would you pair this with like some uh, wine or what? Yeah. Okay. Garlic bread. Help me out. You're my tour guide now. Oh, hold on. I have a question. Damn. Right when this test was really about to start and things were going to get good, Emily gets pulled away by another customer. Okay, fair enough. She said, just give me a second. I think someone else asked for help. Honestly, I felt like Jared was about to start. He was about to cook it. Yeah, I, I saw the cooking oil just steaming. With it too. Like, but, she was down to help him in everything. Like, oh, wait, what, the, what am I doing? Why am I <laughs> suddenly I'm on his side? Okay. So essentially what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to put together this whole meal. What about alcohol? What do you think? Like liquor? Stuff? Liquor. Lit. You got Hennessy? There, there's, there's, there's some like some gat going on. Is that your favorite? I don't drink, but I see people, you know, posting. Does Casamigos go good with some garlic bread? 
I drank with her before. She literally took a light one cup. That's about it. Damn, we should have took. We forgot this. She smokes. Which one no. Did she no, she didn't smoke. Damn, she's a clean individual. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to be helping me out. Let's go. Then again, just because you don't drink or smoke doesn't. You gotta dig deep, man. There's a lot of layers. You gotta dig deep before you see the truth. You say you don't drink? I don't drink water. Just a little and not too. I just don't find that. Ah, Latinas always say that. And then next thing you know, you three drinks in. I know how to put you. All right, all right. So what, how about this? Which one would you drink with me? Hello. Huh? Ah, shit. Damn, man. Damn. I know how he felt, man. I know his heart just sunk. That bitch went deeper than Shovel Knight, man. That bitch hit the damn top of the ocean straight to the damn ocean floor in eight seconds. Pussy glad. That's the one you're going to grab with me? Yeah. That's the one you're going to grab with me? Yeah. Which one? That's it. All right. So I got garlic bread, got some... Oh, man, nah, I feel for bro, man. He's a good dude. This a good dude, man. I could tell. This a good dude. You don't deserve this, bro. Why are you putting yourself through this? You should have just walked away when it was clear. I feel bad for bro, man. I feel bad for him. This ain't even right no more, man. Damn. Damn, man. This will be good? Okay. Okay, I don't know if she didn't hear the question here or if she just ignored it, but she dodged that good. She, well, she's I'm smooth. take off, but listen, I don't want to say thank you. I just want to also say you cute as Let me grab your number. Let me grab your number. Yeah? I got a girlfriend. I'm teasing, I'm messing with you. Is it serious? Yeah. Yeah? Well, let me grab your Instagram at least. Okay. You sure? Let me take you out. I ask one more time. We'll grab it. No? All right, well, I want to say thank you at least, all right? Thanks. Oh my God. I've never watched one of these where they don't, they don't fold. This is actually impressive to me, man. And look at that smile, man. He feels vindicated. But hey, here's the thing, though. Maybe it just wasn't the right one. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she got a type. Maybe she got a type. If the, we got to see if the right guy pull up, if it'll be the same thing. We got to send in a damn Caucasian or a damn Latino, man. We got to figure out the system. There's still something there, man. The, the crumbs are there. The, the damn breadcrumbs lead to some shit. It lead to a damn wall. But there's something behind the wall. I've been watching Scooby-Doo my whole life, man. I know this shit. Damn. And so just like that, Emily turns down our decoy. Okay. She doesn't give out her number. She doesn't give out her IG, which means that she doesn't let us go into a phase two. Yikes. I'm going to put this stuff back. Okay. They keep looking at me, bro. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And she, she kept looking at them. I'm like, oh. She kept looking at what? Did she catch on? I don't know. I don't know. He, he said like something like she kept looking at I don't, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what's going through your mind? What are you thinking? I mean, I don't know. No, I guess only doubts. Wait, what's happen. happening? So like maybe he wasn't attractive enough for her. That's it. But, uh, uh, he wasn't really her type. That's maybe. it. Okay. It's, it's so it sounds like you still almost like still don't really trust it because there might be someone who she will fuck finds more attractive. Someone who she will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it still sounds like you're like kind of like hesitant and not super yeah. trusting of her just yeah. yet. I just feel like it just has to be built more because like she's honestly like stuff she does she kind of like broke it already. But mm. like this or her telling me like stuff like oh some guy could up to me call me. Beautiful. This man just trying to see it live, man. Kind of builds it back up. You know? He's trying to get his heart broken so he could have a reason to leave. Yeah. Shortly after wrapping up our test, Eric received an interesting text. Well, I mean, that's all I could ask for, man, honestly, for right, for right now. She just texted you, literally. Yeah. Oh, so a guy complimented me just letting you know. That's all I could ask for. I just, she was like, okay. Uh, I can't. I was like, oh, she was okay. Like, okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Something, I still feel uneasy about this whole thing, man. There's a, there's a greater mystery somewhere underneath all of those smiles and texts man you better keep you better stay vigilant man
keep your eyes wide open when you sleep. Her texting you like that though, is that normal? This is what we talked about literally like Thursday, Friday. Like I want stuff like this and I guess this is the first time she's done it. Okay. Yeah, so, but I mean, the thing though is like, it's, it's conversations that we've had like long ago. So like, I don't know why it, had, it took so long just to like, what do you want, bro? Do you? Throughout the whole relationship, I never like. Even though she's done that stuff, I've never like stopped liking her in a way. Like, I think I'm really in deep for her. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Stuff. Is... Bro, you need to set yourself free. I can't lie to you, man. You need to set yourself free. You in you in deep on an unhealthy level. There's a there's levels to this, man. I I know how you feel too. You feel like you know you want to be there for her throughout thick and thin, but there's a limit to it, man. And I think you've surpassed that limit. I'm telling you, man, you've passed that limit. She got her ways. There are ways, man. You better. Hey, listen. Maybe she don't like black guys. I don't know. Dead ass. I hate to sound like this, but honestly, Emily sending Eric that text makes me even more suspicious. Yeah. Again, I hate to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I can't help but think that she's trying to save face or look good. Yeah. She would look at them. So I kind of awkward. A little mm. bit. Uh, it was like two guys. One had a hat backwards. I think it was. Than a light skinned dude, but um, but no, <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's like, ah, oh, fuck, she didn't pass. That's her another boyfriend. That That's the boyfriend on the job. I'm cooked. Our test is already over, but Emily did the best thing she could possibly do, which is not give out her number or her Instagram. Mm. I wish I could wish these two know them of the best, but unfortunately, they broke up. No, what's up, Eric? How you doing, bro? It's Sergio. Just checking in on on you. How are you and your girl? Hey, what's up, Sergio? Really dope to hear from you, man. Being loving the vids. They are bangers. And while me and her finish, bro, as much as I loved her and wanted the best with her. Yep. They didn't break up because of this test. Oh. They broke up because Emily cheated. <laughs> See? As much as I loved her and wanted the best with her, you just can't really change someone's mind and ways. I'm telling you, man. There are ways to hide shit, and, and that's why, I, boy, listen, I hate to sound like a negative Nancy about this kind of shit, but if you're a guy these days, you gotta have like 10% doubt in there just to balance yourself out, right? It don't mean you can't still like her, but like if you 100% trust somebody, that is high risk these days, man. You gotta have a 10% in there saying, this is great. But always be always be mindful. You know what I'm saying? Like keep that 10% in there to keep you on your toes, keep the relationship on its toes. Because bruh, this is crazy. Some other stuff happens, so I just let it be. Just being working and doing me, hitting the gym and playing soccer like I told you when we met. I don't really converse much. Yeah. Go figure. I have two two guy friends that work there, and they always kind of like have an eye out for stuff. They will tell me like, oh, she's doing this, she's doing that. So I guess when we're doing the video, right? My friend said he saw one of the coworkers with her, like doing some stuff. Uh, I ended up getting mad too, and then I ended up going to the store. I was honestly gonna kick his ass. Yo! I thought about it. I was like, bro, he pulled up. <laughs> the first thing he said when I caught him was like, "Get out of here! I'm gonna call the cops." And I'm like, bro, I'm not sure if she kept doing stuff with that guy. Damn. This other shit that worked there too. That I thought we were cool, but he ended up like, I guess, talking shit on my back and stuff, like saying like, "Oh, why are you with that guy? You deserve better." And stuff. And I was like, "Bro, this was like, this was a bum." She, she would always tell me, "Is like, oh, don't worry about him." Like, you know. Oh. <laughs> The don't worry about him message, man. Listen, I'm telling you, the world is crazy, man. It's a dangerous world out there. You got to protect yourself, man. If you don't take anything away from this video, always like you got to protect yourself because I may as well tell you, ain't nobody trying to protect you unless it's your mother or your sister, your boy, like protect yourself, man. Always, always keep a safeguard. So you good. Another dude? Like, manager, uh, Okay, I am not gonna throw too much business out there. I think you guys get the point. Like I said from the very beginning, if this girl wants to be doing all of this and talking to other guys or whatever, that's fine. Just stay single. Literally. Obviously, other guys try getting at her, but it's like it's on her to like obviously not entertain them. Right, bro. What a video, man. This shit, man. Listen, 
This video was crazy, man. Let me tell you, like, I thought sure she was going to pass the whole thing, but sure enough, <laughs> there was an epilogue. There, that's why the video was so long. There was an epilogue and something about the way she was moving. It was just weird to me, man. I felt like either the guy wasn't her type or the guy that she was into was watching. So she didn't want to do anything in front of that guy, her second boyfriend. That is wild, man. Bro was getting cheated on on the job. So you already know she was in the cooler out back making out, getting mad tongue saliva. Shit, they may have done even more, man. If she worked overtime, you know that nigga bust mad nuts, man. You damn, you you layering up nut on nut. God damn, bro. Hey, listen, I hope bro find peace. I hope he finds somebody that appreciates him, someone he can trust. Lord knows, man. He needs something, man. He need he need a damn saint. So hopefully he's doing well. I'm a head on out. I'm a head on out, man. I, I don't even want to think about this video no more. If y'all enjoy it, stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you then. Peace.